a breakthrough in clean energy that could literally change the world. Scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory announced this morning that they achieved fusion, and that's the same process that occurs in our sun. The technology could change the way we power everything from our homes to our cars. KXAN's Eric Henriksen spoke with Dr. Joshua Rhodes, a research scientist with the University of Texas, about what this means for clean energy, how the technology works, and when we could see it in our homes. The breakthrough itself it involves lasers and fusion. It's really cool, but how does it impact clean energy and how we look at clean energy? Yeah, so the so the breakthrough in fusion, you know, getting more energy out than was put in is is the breakthrough. So before we've we've known how fusion or we've had theoretically known how fusion could work for well over a century now, but we've never actually been able to get more energy out than we put in. And the key with that is if we are able to, you know, develop this technology and get it into the form of say a power plant, then we could have large amounts of very low cost um, clean energy that has the has one thing that wind and solar don't have. It has an on and off switch. It has the ability that we can turn it off. We, we can turn it on. We can turn it off. We can ramp it up. We can ramp it down. Um, and that was that's useful um, going forward because, you know, we have to match supply and demand in real time in electricity. Now, one of the things they said uh, in the press conference this, this week was that using the laser as it bounces off this cylinder as glass tube and that bounces and causes the, the fusion to occur by this is where I, i'm lost shooting x-rays into the fuel beam so what exactly is happening there what can you explain it in real basic terms yeah so essentially you know you've got this reactor that has you know these types of hydrogen and there's a couple different types of hydrogen um in them and we basically blast them with this this laser which is the and the the test you they were using this past week was roughly about the equivalent of two lightning bolts worth of energy that you like put into this hydrogen fuel it essentially does some kind of combustion inside and more energy is released than was put into it and you end up with helium out the other side so you start with hydrogen and you end up with helium and more energy hopefully you know, essentially, that's kind of what happens. We put in two lightning bolts and got two and a half out, um, which is what we were looking to do. So moving forward, they said possibly decades before we actually see a power plant that operates using this technology. Yeah. Will we be, can we wait decades to to get power plants to operate on this technology? Or are, are we able to wait that long? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't hold my breath for, you know, a Mr. Fusion powered DeLorean anytime soon. But, you know, it, we do have lots of technologies um, that that can get us clean energy. You know, this is, fusion is often thought as like you know the cousin to fission, which is what our current nuclear um, technology does. It takes two, uh, it takes atoms and it splits them, uh, whereas fusion puts them together. That coupled with wind and solar and carbon capture, we have other technologies we can you know currently use. We don't have to use this technology, but if we can get it cheaply, then it could be you know a game changer um, in the future.